Okay, so let's talk about the music. Well, the music was really cool. All, um, a lot of the original soundtracks, like the new songs in there, were really cool. I actually haven't been able to find the soundtrack yet. Like I've been digging, like at least like a very official one. Like I've seen a lot of a lot of the songs like here and there, and like a few playlists, but it doesn't have all of them. And I think that the the music was done really well, but I feel like there wasn't enough new ones. Like I feel like there could have been some more new songs. I mean, I guess I have to do take into account all the Disney worlds are going to have like mostly new music. Mm-hmm. But I feel like as far as like original soundtracks, like battle themes and stuff, I feel like there wasn't really that many new ones because they recycled a lot of old ones. I mean, they revamped them a little bit, but I felt like there could have been some more new ones. Yeah, I, I overall agree. it was really good. Yeah, I agree. And obviously, since we're all like huge fans of music and stuff, you know, we go to like concerts and stuff, and you know, we all like love music. I feel like this is something we could definitely like talk about that I just felt like really needed to be mentioned. Personally, I thought the music in this game was the best part of the entire game. Like that was the only part, and I've actually I've tweeted about this where like I I, I personally believe that like the music was the best in the series. And the music in this game was the only thing that blew my expectations like way, way, way out of the water. Beyond graphics, beyond like anything else, I thought the music was awesome. I, lo- I loved yeah. it. The, the music in the world is really, dude, that, that Frozen song, dude, yeah. that's a pop. Da, 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 da. Like, oh and my I, God. I, I love the part where it slows down and it does like the. Da, da, da. Oh my God, dude, fire. And I was just like, dude. I, I actually, so like, I find myself, like, playing Smash with my friends and, like, to get into the zone, I listen to, like, the boss fight music and stuff. And, like, you know, like, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And the, the track, and obviously, this is always my favorite song, um, Vanitas' theme. Dude, and we'll get to this when we talk about the story, but bro, Vanitas' new theme with the electric guitar in it is, oh my, dude, Yoko Shimomura, like, what was she on? What was she on when she fucking made this music? Like, I don't know what the hell she did. To, no, she she made perfect music. Like, there needs to be a new word. I, I was so blown away by the music in this game. I can't even put into words. No, I agree with you. And I mean, it's always been like that. Like, for me, I know it has been for you too, but... It's just like, I'm just like, how do you compose like such a quality music? <laughs> like yeah. it's literally better than at, like anything else in the world. hundred percent. And I think that's like, the one it... thing that people can really agree. They're like this, this game did better than any other game in the series was the music, the, mu- the remixes, the new original music, you know, like the tangled battle theme, dude, that is one of my favorite tracks in the entire game. That is just, uh, oh my God. So good. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I, I, I think that the Disney worlds were definitely the best, but some of those Kingdom Hearts 2 songs still really get still really get me. I mean, they brought a lot of them back, and I think that's why I'm kind of like... I, I think that Kingdom Hearts 3 used a lot of the past songs, so overall, I would say yes, but some some of those original, um, you know, the songs like when the, you know, before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out were, were also really fantastic. I mean, it's all on par to me. I think it's all, you know, yeah, everything and I thought it was it was all appropriately used. There weren't any times where I was like, this song shouldn't be playing. You know, like, obviously, like, I mean, I can't really talk about this stuff without, like, going into the story. But, like, overall, I felt like the music was always appropriate. It was good. It was awesome. Um, Mark, Tim, if you guys want to say something about the music other than, you know, how fucking perfect it was, you can. I think, my, you know, honestly, I don't want to repeat anything you guys have said. But I think my favorite thing about the music is, you know, after beating the world and going back and playing through the world, I've never found myself annoyed by the music. And I feel like just that alone is something that really speaks volumes about the music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of games where the, where sometimes like the music can get like kind of annoying or like tedious. And I've never felt like that. And the Disney world music is definitely the best in the series. Like the Disney world music, it was just outstanding. And it, it was a bit, it was very like, original while also holding like the theme of the world yeah and they had like little like little easter eggs like of like like parts of songs like from the movie kind of like thrown in there and i thought that was super cool yeah especially the toy story world man like when you're in andy's room or like just the idol music in general when you're like exploring it's a rendition of you got a friend in me like yeah, that stuff. like yeah. the, the attention to detail Love with it. that Love is it. so good dude like it's amazing um let me think I mean, aside from music, since we're talking about, like, sounds, like, we could talk about, like, uh, the voice acting in this game, because I thought that's something that, you know, I thought was very important, because it really, that's really, like, part of, like, you know, with, the, with like, aside from, like, music, like, what captures, like, your interest and, like, feels you, like, immersed to the game, 
Like the voice acting and stuff, I thought overall was just perfect as well. There were a couple characters where like I had issues with them, but um, overall, like especially like Sora, so, like Haley Joel Osment, dude. What did you go back in time and like, you know, steal the heart of like your younger self and have him do the voice acting? Because he sounded exactly <laughs> like Kingdom Hearts Two Sora. The the reason I think that that happened too with Sora's voice is I think that in Dream Drop Distance they were trying and like recoded they were trying to get him to do the younger Sora voice. Yeah, because it was supposed to like oh like it was supposed to sort of take place as like almost like a younger Sora sort of. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a younger Sora kind of esque voice. So you're talking and, like they were trying to take like the recom Sora basically like that type of voice acting. Yeah, and I feel like when he doesn't like have to force himself to sound like kingdom hearts one Sora or like, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, he can do the kingdom hearts two Sora or, you know, however it's like changed. I think he does that very well. And I think he does that a lot more naturally than when he tries to do like, like a sort of sound like his past were. I think that what he was doing now sounds most like kingdom hearts two Sora, to be honest with you. Totally. Hell yeah. Um, um, so a couple characters that I had issues with, which I feel like have been like addressed pretty widely on um online, specifically with this one character, was um dude, Woody's oh voice actor was garbage. <laughs> Woody's voice actor pissed me off. Uh, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Like obviously you're not gonna like, you know, with with names like Toy Story has eyes buzz and Woody, like you're not gonna get those big names. But I felt like I felt like they, they did a decent job where it's like, you know, it wasn't spot on, but it wasn't like horrible. Like it didn't sound like like you could tell it's Woody. You know, yeah. Woody didn't really bother me all that much, and I've heard that from a lot of people that like Woody sounded off to them. But listen, you know who the worst voice character in the game is? Oh my god! If you say Master you... Xehanort, we're gonna we're gonna fucking battle right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I. I mean, his voice is definitely different, but I think yeah. he did a good job. Of course. But listen, Rabbit. Oh my so god, bad. dude! He sounded like the mayor of Townsville. Was that the fucking guy that like? No, seriously. Like, <laughs> like, like, I, I'm sorry. Had the like the most unauthentic like voice acting. Yeah, ever. I was just like, what is this? Like, it sounds so like weird and messed up. I wanted him to literally just be like, "Yo, like, okay, Sora, I need you to to help me harvest my fruit and my flowers and my vegetables." And, the power. Girls are here, you know. Like that's like literally like what the fuck it like it came off as to me. Yeah, honestly, no, I... like the, I mean, we're talking about voice acting. How have you not talked about one of the first things you hear is Drake Bell's voice, bro? People Yo, called that bro. years ago. Like that's so sick. Yeah, he he did a great job. I I think oh you know I think that some of the characters like some of the Disney characters kind of got like a little bit injustice did to them on the voice acting. But at the same time, there were also a lot of characters that were done so well. Yeah, like I thought that, um, especially in um, in Pirates, where like you could tell what's good and what's not. I thought everyone was fired, but Elizabeth's voice actress was like awful, awful. And I'm a huge fan of Pirates, mm-hmm. so that's why. But like, I I mean, especially since it's such a hyper realistic, you know, world. Like, you know, you you sort of Jack Sparrow. I think of the movie. It sounds like Johnny Depp. You know, like same thing with like um Barbosa. You know, and Davy Jones. They all sound. Very identical to their actual actors. I don't know. Davy Davy Jones sounded way too Scottish. Really, you think so? Though he sounded a little bit too much. Like I felt like Zeus as well. I thought Hercules. Like they kind of had a little bit more of an accent than I remember them being in the movies. Like just a little bit too much. Huh. Like not to the point where it was like unbearable, but I just felt like I noticed it. Yeah. Also, when it comes to the voice acting in Pirates, I, I noticed a lot of people complaining about like Calypso or or Tia Dalma, and um. You know, it definitely is is different, but I, th- I I don't know. I just really liked her voice. Like, I was kind of biased because I thought it was so, like, creepy. Like, I liked it so much. Yeah. But, um, okay, so then we could talk about, um, since I've sort of, like, mentioned, I challenged you. I was about to challenge you. I thought Young Ma- – or, not Young Master Xehanort. Master Xehanort, Old Man Xehanort, his new voice actor was as good as it could have been. Well, it was his son. Was it? Was I it? Believe, or at least the Japanese version was. Yeah. I forgot what – because I remember I was watching something because they were saying, you know, how Phil was replaced. You know, he wasn't replaced because his voice actor died. But Xehanort's voice actor died, uh, you know, at just like you know, almost, you know, around the same time. But obviously you can't not have Xehanort's voice in the game. But they were saying that the person who, who, who reprised the role 
was his son. So I'm not sure if they're talking about Japanese or English audio. That was probably in Japanese because I do know that the voice actor for English, he comes from another like science fiction like, movie or something like that. Like I, I it's, Gee, I read like... something. Yeah. Like, I mean, I thought again, he was, he was as good as he could have been. I wasn't, it's, I mean, Leonard Nimoy, you can't, you can't really, you know, you can't really replace that, you know? Yeah, I like, agree. He, he did a great job. And, you know, so obviously it wasn't spot on. But yeah. that's okay, because I still think that he did a great job. He did a, he did a very good Masters a and for sure. So, yeah. yeah, like, he did do a great job, but, like, I feel like, you know, it, it it's a bit, like, you know, different from what we've seen in Birth by Sleep. And I feel like it, it just threw me off a bit, but, like, if it was, like, a dude with, like, a bit more of gravelly of a voice, that would be... You know, like a much better fit, in my opinion. Yeah, but yeah, that was the one thing is that his voice wasn't nearly as like gravelly as Zaynor's was. That was the one thing that I feel like if you literally just like added that, it would literally sound like very much like him. Yeah, it's basically like a ha 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 versus a ha 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 ha. Like that's basically the difference <laughs> between the two voice actors. You know what I mean? Like yeah. But like now, imagine we never heard him in Birth by Sleep. I feel like we like you know. I feel like his voice acting would have been a lot more appreciated. Hundred percent. If he wasn't you know coming off of like, but that's the hardest thing with doing a series, especially a series as long running as this. That you know, if voice actors change. It's like no matter how well you do as a voice and you know as a voice actor for that character, someone else already voiced it, so you already have you know a voice in your head. Right. Right. And then um, there's there's one other voice actor that I or I can't. I guess I can say it. Where I had, like, an issue with it, and I'm kind of pulling a 180, but, like, not all of it, because the lines that were good were good, but Haley Joe Osmond with Vanitas, some of the lines were, like, really weird to me. But this sounded, like, super weird. When he would go, like, all whispery and stuff, it, sa- it just didn't sound like Vanitas to me. I don't, I don't know why. Really? I thought... I don't know. What I'm thinking of when I think of his voice acting is I think of the speech with... Um with Ventus and Sora and when he calls them like brothers like I thought that shit was like creepy like I loved oh, yeah. it like I thought he did like I was just like holy shit like you can tell he really enjoyed doing that <laughs> yeah like I just felt like I don't know I felt like certain lines like I'm saying not as a whole there's just certain lines with Vanitas when like Haley Josman did like he did a certain voice where it just sounded a little weird to me but like that's just it overall like I said like Vanitas is my favorite villain he was fire like you know that entire sequence that we're like you know oof, oh my god I can't wait to talk about that in this story because that was my Favorite, oh, yeah. One of my favorite parts of the entire game. But, um, oh, yeah. So, overall, music was hands down one of the best things. The voice acting, obviously, some were weird. Um, other, like, 99% of them were absolutely perfect. Um, oh, yeah. And then one more thing. Speaking of voice acting, did any of you guys pick up on the fact that um, Dylan and Alias didn't have their voice actors come back, but they were still in the fucking game for some reason? Yeah. And their models I mean- just looked weird. Like, they looked so less detailed than the others. I, I mean, I don't think their models looked weird. I do wish they had talked, though. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just thought that, like, you know, they popped up three or four times and didn't say anything. And I was like, bro, like, <laughs> like, why are they even here? Who cares if they're here? Like, <laughs> Well, okay, okay. So so Dylan slash um, Lexius, I mean, he was kind of sort of like the silent type. Like, he didn't really talk that much anyway. Yeah, or Alias, because but- Alias is Lexius. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's, I feel that's like if you I'm try to justify then... it, you can make sense of it, but I feel like it was still kind of weird. They were just like... That they said nothing. Actors. There wasn't even like a grunt or a sigh or anything. Or like, yeah, like and, and, and Dylan, said, Dylan like, or um, Zaldin, yeah. you know, he, he made a lot of like grunts and like sounds like that. Yeah. So I don't know. That's just something have I think Like, like he's not Roxas. Yeah. <laughs> like, like anything. You can't be mad at him. He's not Roxas. It's like at least there's like a little bit to try to explain it. But I do agree, like, it was kind of weird, like, yeah, I guess they just wanted to have, like, hey, let's characters as possible in here, whether they, they talk or not. Kingdom Hearts 3, everyone is here. Super Smash Brothers quote. <laughs> That's basically yeah. what this game was. Now I'm saying. The gang's all here. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. All right. Um, so let's keep it going. Um, we could talk about the gummy ship. The gummy ship. The gummy ship, the gummy the gummy ship. ship was the best it's been. I fucking love the gummy ship. Oh, I thought it was definitely such a good improvement. So it was, I definitely think it was an improvement. Still didn't give a shit about it. <laughs> See, now here's, so, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, when, when I was playing through the game, I was like, okay, gummy ship, cool. I'll get as much out of it as I can. But when I went back and I was doing um, the task that you had to do to get the Oracalcum Plus, like, where you have to, like, level up your ship and beat the bosses yeah. and stuff, I was having the time of my life. 
I was too. And I, I think oh, that fun. really made great. I thought Dude, building my own gummy ship too. I actually like had a lot of fun, like making my because I literally what I did was so funny. I literally used the stock gummy ship mold. Like I literally didn't change anything except I painted it and just every like because you know how after uh, when you level it up, so like in between every worlds you get like more costs. Mm -hmm. So I I literally just like kept just adding guns to it until it literally (laughs) just was covered in guns. (laughs) It it, it looked (laughs) ridiculous, but and like it it was like the high wind, but like like I painted it and it just had like a stupid amount of guns, like even guns and just like ridiculous pieces. (laughs) And you could have like the the teeny ships and stuff. Like, dude, it was just four guns put on together. Like that's all it was for me. Like, (laughs) so one thing that I did definitely like about the gummy ship. Uh, was the fact that, you know, if you didn't want to do it, you could get through the whole game without exactly. actually, like, Wait. building your game. Like, the first, yeah, my me. first month through, I was just kind of like, okay, I want to do the story. Like, I wasn't planning on, like, 100%ing the game for that that file. So I didn't really, you know, worry about going out and, like, you know, exploring. I kind of just did the story. And I was able to beat the bosses. It took a little while, but beat the bosses, the gumshit bosses with, you know, my ship as it was without exploring. But the fact that now on my second playthrough and I'm really spending the time, like, you know, finding you know, materials and fi- and like just fighting every boss I can find. It is fun. It is such a cool like experience. And sometimes I'm like, well, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts here. I'm flying around in a spaceship. Like what is yeah. going on? Like, and I know that, I like, know that we already talked about like music and stuff, but the gummy ship music. Yeah. Oh, fire. I drool fire. when I hear it. I drool when I hear it. Yeah. It's really good. Yo, type F in the chat every time we say fire. No, but like I, dude, oh my God. <laughs> The gummy <laughs> ship, dude. I've never thought I'd be able to say it, but like I, I love, I loved doing it. Like I actually like when I'm bored and I'm trophy hunting. I'm like, yeah, screw this. I'm gonna go hop in the gummy ship and just fly around. Like it's just, it's fun. Well, because you know they, they brought in a different uh, developing team for that. They apparently, what I heard is they found like a game that actually uses, you know, I forgot what game it was, but they brought in another team to work on the gummy ship, and like the team huh. is met is known for doing those kind of games. So it was, it was like a really smart move on their part. That's interesting. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I- Get what the game is too, but yeah, I know exactly I, I, I read I read something about it where they, they said like oh they they brought in developers from this game to work on it. It's so much better than it used to be because it used to be like so annoying. Like I hated the gunship stuff. I hated to go world to world, and now it's fun. It is like fun. I actually enjoy flying around now and blowing stuff up. Hundred percent, it's fun. All right, so gummy ship was just a complete upgrade. Um, I found it actually kind of difficult at certain points. I think it's because I didn't grind or something, but, like, you know, like, there, there was a grind to it. Like, you know, you can blow through the game with Sora and not grind a second, and you could beat it no problem. But, like, with the gummy ship, yeah. when you had to do these specific missions and fight these bosses and stuff, like, you had to grind. Like, you had to do it. No, I... Yeah, I agree. There were, were actually a few points where, where uh, it was kind of hard because when I was on my way to Arendelle, I stumbled upon that... Um, <gasps> the that same thing happened stuff. to me, and I couldn't beat it! And I was just like, dude, what the And then fuck? I found like, out I could just fly so over it. I didn't even know I could yeah. fly over it. No, I, I yeah, I didn't either. I was just like, um, like, do I have to do this? Or like <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so I, glad that happened so, to you too. So I literally just went back and, and just flew around it. Oh, I'm so glad that happened to you too. Oh my god, so you understand me. All right, cool. So yeah, yeah. overall, gummy <laughs> ship. I love you, gummy ship. Don't ever change. You were you were beautiful in this game don't ever change now yeah don't ever change now now that you're now that you're five (laughs) 